Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Tuesday, June 26, 2018. We're having another cool day today, relatively, compared to what we're going to be dealing with this upcoming weekend. Well, let's face it, this summer generally has been pretty nice in terms of dealing with heat and humidity. I could tell that myself because I haven't had the air conditioner on all that much. And believe me, you notice that when you're paying the electric bill. Temperatures this morning, well, not too bad. We're talking about lower to mid-50s over the northern interior. Some locations in northwestern New Jersey and around the Poconos actually were in the 40s earlier this morning. Lower to mid-60s along the coast with clear skies and light and variable winds. High pressure is currently right over our neck of the woods with tranquil and comfortable weather conditions in place for today. However, this low pressure system is going to be bringing trouble for the region starting late tomorrow evening on through Thursday with this warm front that's going to lift northward, followed by a weak cold front that follows in the evening on Thursday with showers and thunderstorms. Then the hot and humid weather conditions start to kick in, and yes, just in time for the 4th of July weekend. When we take a look at the radar, pretty much high and dry, not much going on around here. And on the infrared satellite picture, we do have some low to mid to high level clouds, sorry, uh, that are moving through the region. Not all that big of a deal, though, just some weak, serious clouds, nothing to really be a concern of. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, high pressure and control with light winds developing out of the southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour, high temperatures. In the lower to mid 70s along the immediate coast, upper 70s to lower 80s everywhere else. For this evening, look for sky cloud cover. Could see some fog developing by tomorrow morning with winds from the southeast around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Look for lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, increasing clouds with showers approaching by the evening hour. We're looking at widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Nothing severe, but a few of these showers can produce heavy downpours, especially after 8 p.m. That warm front will continue to lift northward, with temperatures tomorrow ranging from the lower to mid-70s along the coast and mid to upper 70s everywhere else. On Thursday, the warm front will lift northward. This cold front will follow in the evening. Period of showers can be expected. Look for temperatures in the New York City metro to range from the mid to upper 70s, approaching 80 around New York City itself. Then, as you head towards the Philadelphia metro, look for temperatures to range from the lower to mid 80s. This basically is dependent on the speed of the warm front as it's looking northward. To the north of the warm front, you get more of an easterly to southeasterly wind component, so you get a little bit cooler. To the south, it's more of a southerly and thus warmer. One thing is for sure, we will have showers throughout the morning and then more widely scattered isolated showers in the afternoon and evening with the cold front. On Friday, high pressure will be in control and isolated thunderstorm cannot be ruled out in the afternoon and evening hours. Look for lows in the mid to upper 60s, highs in the lower to mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. On Saturday, hazy, hot, and humid. There's a threat for an isolated shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. Otherwise, it is going to be rather uncomfortable. Lows in the mid to upper 60s, approaching 70 degrees in a few urban areas. High temperatures will range from the upper 70s to mid 80s on Long Island, upper 80s to lower 90s along the rest of the coast, and lower to mid 90s for the rest of the region. On Sunday, pretty much a copy of Saturday. An isolated shower or two will be possible in the afternoon and evening hours. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows. High temperatures, again, will be dependent on where you're at. On Long Island, look for temperatures to range from the upper 70s to the mid 80s. If we get that sea breeze kicking off the Atlantic, you're going to stay really cool over southeastern Long Island. However, as you head towards the New York City metro, look for temperatures to range from the upper 80s to the mid 90s. Again, we'll watch that sea breeze front. But one thing's for sure, it's gonna be hazy, hot, and humid. And you're definitely gonna feel it with the humidity. Note, temperatures are basically gonna be capping out in the mid 90s. I know that there's been some, let's say talk about temperatures exceeding 100 degrees. The model that was supporting that is quickly backing off on that solution. And that's why I haven't really been advertising it because I thought it was just completely ridiculous. On Monday, hazy, hot, and humid once again. Isolated thunderstorm will be possible in the afternoon and evening hours. 
low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s throughout the region. And on Tuesday, same situation, hazy, hot, and humid, low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s, high temperatures in the lower to mid 80s along the coast, upper 80s to lower 90s everywhere else. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.